Hello, my name is Kaylee Phillips. I'm from Scurry, Texas. I'm 24 years old and I have been racing for about three and a half months. I drive a dragster. It's an 05 Mullis with a 632 sunset motor. In this video, I'm running Super Pro at Extreme in Ferris, Texas, and in first round, I drew a door car. Last run, I was 004 in the tree and the car ran a 473. So I decided to roll five in my box and also dial a 472 since it had started to get cold and also it was nighttime. At the win first round my opponent went red I was 12 on the tree and my car unexpectedly went at 475 not sure why but moving on to next round second round I drew a slower dragster that was dialed a 518 previously I was 12 on the tree so I rolled 3,000 in my box and last round I also was a 475, but me and my dad thought that that was just weird, so we decided to just throw that run out and stick with dialing a 473. Got the win second round my opponent was red again I guess I'm a bit intimidating I was 26 on the tree missed it a bit but my car ran another 475 so it looks like we're gonna have to stick with that dial third round I drew a faster door car dialed a 511 I rolled three thou out in my box and even though my car ran a 475 the last two runs I decided to dial a 474 just to make sure that I didn't break out. Got it done again to move on to fourth round. My car for the third time in a row ran a 475. Even though my opponent was dead on dial, I had him on the tree and got around him by 9,000. Fourth round, I drew Daryl Goza. He drives a faster door car and he dialed a 514. Previously, I was 16 on the tree, so I decided to leave the box alone. And after running a 475 three times in a row, I decided to trust my car and dial a 475. <laughs> Got the win again. As soon as I pre-staged, he staged pretty quickly, which threw me off a little bit, but I knew I had to keep my head in the game. I was 15 dead six to his 004 and 2000 under. 
very tight race, but moving on to next round. Heading into fifth round, there were only five cars left, which means there's a bye. I rolled into a lane that was empty, and when they drew for the bye, I ended up getting it, which put me into the semis. For my bye run, I decided to just take the tree and coast down the track. I really wanted to focus on mentally preparing for the semis and then also let my car cool down so it will run its best for next round. Coming into the semis, I was getting really excited since this is the furthest I'd ever made it in my racing career so far. I really wanted to focus on hitting the tree good and just keeping my mind right to be able to make a good pass and hopefully advance to the finals. I ended up racing Brian Day who drives a truck dialed a 671. I decided to keep my box the same since I was 15 on the tree last round and then dial a 475. <laughs> didn't get the win like I had hoped for this round. I knew right away that I had missed the tree. Because it was getting darker, the groove was getting a little bit harder to see. And so when I took off, I could tell that I was skating a little bit around the track. But I also thought maybe that was why I was three hundredths over my dial, but I'm not quite sure. In all, I was really excited about how this weekend went. I had committed really hard to hitting the practice tree the week before the race and I do feel like it really helped my lights this weekend. Um, with it being only my fifth race ever, I do feel like I did pretty good and it was a great confidence booster going into 2022. I really wanted to thank my mom and dad for being there for me and really encouraging all my dreams especially when it comes to racing and i cannot wait to get back on the track in 2022. lastly i wanted to thank rocky for making this video and helping and encouraging me this weekend i hope you guys enjoyed so like and subscribe and we'll see y'all next time